Hello there, here and don't ask why I'm orange. Today we're going to play My Neighbor Any Day, developed by... You know who? You know who developed this game? Yes, yes, it is Arcade Kiddo. And as always, a uh, regular in this channel. Uh, let me adjust my model properly. There we go, that's better. Uh, okay, so a little... Uh, a little fact. So I already played this game before and basically this is a re-recording because I'm a little bit silly and I accidentally while well, I was trying to do some setting adjustment because I was trying to use my other microphone which is better than this I think however I don't have the proper equipment to do to record with it because it will just make a lot of clickety clackety sounds which is uncomfortable to the ear you know so I decided to like okay fuck it I'm just gonna use this one microphone that I've been using for a while and I forgot to change the settings and the recording the old recording even though it's listenable I guess it's just built with a little little bit of clipping here and there like a little bit of noises because of the loudness of the recording so yeah here we are I'm just gonna re-record the whole game one hour 30 minutes more than that probably ah, fuck my life either way yes let's start playing the game shall we look at that it's pretty simplistic there's cake there is plates that's all Do you want to see the content warning for this game? Mm, not really, but for the sake of people watching, yes. Warning, this game contains themes and depiction of the following. Strong language, brief ableism, blood... <laughs> brief ableism. Okay, yeah, so, fun fact, I'm, I'm not laughing at ableism, okay? I'm laughing at it because uh, there was a time when I first learned the word ableism and I don't know exactly the word what's the word is and I keep saying instead of abolism I keep saying albaism which is like kind of <laughs> foolish for like a year or two and I just realized after like interacting with Umfi and I realized wait what that's not how you say it like what the hell anyway yes let's continue blood death gore cannibalism mm, this question is advised free space or order to continue that's very interesting uh, there's a strange pattern here in this channel that we already cover three cannibalism game back to back in a row which is kind of interesting you can check on the card above if you are interested as well in cannibalism no i mean in in the game obviously no, not in eating other people <laughs> what i'm saying anyway yes okay start we can also use the mouse to start so it's not only space and enter haha <laughs> arcade got you once more the only memories i have of my mother are from pictures on the wall as I understand it, my mother left my father sometime after I was born. Okay, so... <laughs> this one, I thought it was a dead, dead mom trope, but no. I don't know why no one ever told me. But it did create some tension in my household. Yeah, it, it, it was the divorced father trope. <laughs> that and my big sister, sister Tabby used to fight a lot. I don't even know what most of their fights were about, because at a certain point, I just turned off my hearing aid as soon as I heard the yelling start. I think it has something to do with Dad being too strict from the way Tabby would run about it after. But I didn't want to get involved, I didn't want to pick sides. I love both of them and I didn't understand why they couldn't get along. I was there and I knew that the three of us were all capable of creating happy memories together. So I didn't understand why it couldn't always be like that. At one point, the fighting got so bad. I remember hearing right before I turned my aid off. Tabby saying something like, now I get why mom left. Damn, oof. I didn't turn my hearing on, aid on for the rest of the night and initially took it out to go to bed later. But I ended up being just left awake in the middle of the night by Tabby. At first when I saw the hearing aid, I thought it was a like motif inside the ear, which is kind of interesting. But no, it turns out it, it is a hearing aid. She had a strange expression on and was wearing a backpack over her shoulder. Oh. Hello there, buddy. A little buddy. She was pushing her childhood stuff toe into my hands and speaking to me, but of course I couldn't hear her. She must have realized that, though, because she looked like she loved a little to herself and then said to me, I promised to ride. Then she got up, walked out, closed the door to my room. And I never saw her again. Yeah. A little interesting backstory, isn't it? Maybe ran away that night, I'm not sure to where. She did write as promised. She sounded like she was having fun out there, meeting new people, doing new things. But there was a never return address. I don't know how she ever got a letter to us. I was sad I couldn't write her back. 
Okay, so I have an interesting theory this part back then, uh, which is, what if it's not Tabby that write those letters? I I'm just saying. Like, how are you sure it was Tabby? Especially because Ted and I didn't stay in that house forever. We moved more than once. We worked so for many stuff, you know how it goes. So I haven't got any, got any letters since it's been a year. I have Tabby still doing okay. I carry on the toy she gave me everywhere, sadly she feels close. Despite everything that happened, I still like my dad. We get along real well and I can tell he loves me. We are always doing things like playing baseball together and going to the movies. That's cool. Even play video game with me sometimes. It's actually pretty good. Hell yeah, a gamer dad. No wonder why your wife left you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe I always used to talk about him being strict and I wonder if part of that stuck with him. Because ever since she left, I feel like he's been pretty loose in the reins. He even pushes me to go outside and get out of the house. Even when I don't want to. Hell yeah, go touch grass. Ellie. Ellie? Is that... Yeah, that's better. Yeah. What are you doing? Watching TV. That's what you were doing this morning. Come on, you still have a few hours of sunlit left. Go play outside for a bit, get some fresh air. Uh, come on, I don't wanna go outside. What if Pinsor's out there? I thought you and Pinsor were friends. We used to be, but he sucks now. Hey, language. Well, he does. I'm just finishing up some paperwork. When I'm done, I don't, I don't wanna see you still on the couch. You can watch more TV later. It's not like they're playing anything new at this hour anyways. Ugh, fine. Move using your quiz. Press space around there to... Space around there to interact with objects. Press X to open the menu and to cancel. Okay, pretty, pretty interesting. All that's... That's on our reruns of things you already seen before, so at least you're not missing anything. Yeah, indeed. But what if... What if there's a new episode that you didn't see? And you miss it? Because you're dead. Oh no. Truly, truly a horrible experience. Wait, BRB, I'm gonna check the recording. You need to do that. You need to do that, by the way, which I didn't do back then, which I'm kind of silly not to do that. Because I've always preached that I need to check my recording, which I didn't do. Fuck. Okay, everything seems to be fine, so let's continue. Maybe she could stay in this couch a little longer, but you know, if you sit back down, you won't, uh, you don't, you won't want to get up again. Oh, that's so sad. Somebody else holding a lamp on top. The doors are so empty. What a waste of space. <laughs> Indeed. I, who who wants two lamps side by side near the couch? That's so horrible, like the lighting. You look out in the street. It's a beautiful day, yet you don't see anyone outside. Maybe that's a good thing? Maybe. Looks, looks are fine. And also not your favorite way to spend your free time. Mm-hmm. Same dialogue. Some, some sort of big leafy plan. You're never sure why adults like to decorate their homes with big leafy plants in the corner of every room. Sure, there's some more exciting way to use the space. Yeah, you could, you know, put like a one-on-one -on -one figure in an, of an anime character in the side of a corner. Or maybe put a giant Gundam figure in, in like this right here. So, <laughs> hello there. Colorful decorative plates hanging in the wall. They're pretty fun, the red one is your favorite. Indeed. Hey, Ellie Cat. Didn't I just tell you to go outside? Look at the dad, arcade kitten. What have you unleashed? What have you unleashed? The society of pathetic looking dad is looking, looking for you. They, they, they want to say thank you for what you have done for your contribution. I mean, it's not pathetic looking dad, more like tired looking dad. I guess it's the same thing. Maybe it's different. What are you doing? Pain pills. Looks boring. It is boring. <laughs> But somebody's gotta do them. Somebody gotta do them. That's for dinner. Not sure yet. I was gonna go grocery shopping after this. You know you can automate your bills, right? Like, automate the paying, but uh, of course that, that's, that needs you to have money. That you need to have money for that. <laughs> See what I could make from there. So we could, uh, what's it, take out? Why? Don't like my cooking anymore? I'm just like, really in with her hot dogs. And I think there's a takeout place for hot dogs, Ellie Cat. Well, there should be. Maybe I'll make one, one day. I think you were gonna be a baseball star. I didn't th even think of that. Baseball stadiums are always handing out hot dogs. Win win. Ha, huh. there you go. Mm hmm. Can you help me practice baseball? Not today, but I'll plan some more time soon. Getting excited about trios, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's why I know practice a lot. I gotta get in. 
Hey, I have no doubt we are going to school all the other kids there. I hope so. Thanks. Oh. Can we play video games instead? Mm. You don't want me, want me to play video games with you. Why will then I? Because he will absolutely fucking destroy. He will get absolutely fucking destroyed. And that's a doll. I didn't see like... I didn't see like in the model, but it's interesting to see that. Because I kick your ass. Wow, language! I'm an adult, I can say it. When can I, when can I say it? When you're taller than me. How tall are you? Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, yeah. Dad, I missed Tabby. Yeah, me too. Oh. The kitchen table on this like today it becomes more of a paper work station. The sink, you already put away the dishes this morning. You look inside the fridge. No, there's nothing you really want right now. I love the design of the text box, by the way. That's very nice. Also, is it just me or the kitchen? The kitchen already kind of looks off though. Delvin, you're allowed to use this as long as that's in the room. Kitchen cabinet filled with all, all their usual kitchen cabinet things. Incredibly uninteresting. Oh, that's so sad. Let's go upstairs to your room. <gasps> Look at that! Buddy, pal, friendo. I don't, did, did your name get changed to friend? Or like, it, is, it doesn't matter if it's pal or friend. I miss both him, little buddy, serving his friend. A baseball theme friend sitting with his little buddy. Oh, yeah. Some drawers holding a lamp on top. The drawers are so empty. What a waste of space. Some posts are ripped rip out of some magazines and we're able to start decorating your room with. They represent your favorite things, baseball and video games. What else could a girl need? Uh, a million dollar? I don't know. Hot dogs? You already said hot dogs? You're bad. It's cozy enough and offers you a nice view in the street. And your neighbor's house. I'm not sure that's a good idea. But okay. Rest door filled with some clothes and some junk. Your handheld console in here, but you don't really want to take it outside. Your baseball stuff. You bring it outside, but there's no one to play baseball with. It's okay, that's that said he take you to the local softball team tryout next week. The comfy chair to sit in, you often play video games in the spot. Too bad you land out your favorite one. Yeah. Okay. It is outside time. Alright, it's pretty nice out here. It's been almost a year since we moved into this house. Unlike the others, this one is one it looks like we'll be staying in for the foreseeable future. We're done by the shoreline, which means we get sand lining to the streets and palm trees in our front yard. Also, I didn't expect the sandy beach area, which is interesting. It's very hard to complain about being made to go outside with weather like this all the time. The sun always bright and shining, but the breeze that was in from sea keeps things nice and cool. I would have to disagree with that because if I got hit by sun, I would evaporate. <laughs> I'm gonna be real, I think I have a minor sun allergy or something. Just, just a little, I don't know. I always complain about getting sun in my sink or cell. Yep, so true. Woohoo! So, okay, you're not supposed to see something, so I cut that part out. Here's where things get interesting. So, there's this gem rope, right? Look at that, this is drawn by Lua Nitslip. Yeah, Lua, Lua, Lua needs sleep. I didn't even realize that at first. That's amazing. But I, I do realize it's kind of different stuff from the usual arcade kit and stuff, so I was like, hmm? It's empty jump rope. Press the correct arrow keys from left to right before timer runs out. So we can either jump rope or we can either fail. If we fail, we'll unlock this dialogue. Whenever basketballs are fun. Hmm. But if we succeed, which we are going to do now. Okay, if we succeed, let's go. Yep. Hey, I didn't realize that was so good it is. We got the dialogue like that. And nothing much to explore here, honestly. Okay, this one actually. Yeah, I think I should put my save file uh, far away because uh, I accidentally keep flashing some spoilers, which are obviously cut from the video, so you don't see. There's some sidewalk chalk you'll have here. Sure, why not? What will you like to draw? A cat. We can draw a cat, obviously. Oh, look at it. Hey, Gary, must you have Tabby. Oh, Tabby, huh? Cool. And then we can draw other things. We can only do them once, so that's why I'm explored this, explored it this way. A snail. Very interesting. That's why Arcade have been like posting about snails. There you go. Reminds you of Anide. Yeah. 
I don't I don't want to I want to tell you that maybe you don't want it to, to remind you of any day. <laughs> maybe. A crab, obviously. There you go. Why did you draw this? Oh, it's going to get revealed soon. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's interesting. Said what Chalky already drawn the picture, now the inspiration well run well run dry. Yeah. You know, missing poster has been attached to the trunk of a tree. It shares the picture of a young adult man. The poster said that he was last seen leaving work early for a date he had. There's a number to call if he should be found. This poster has been hanging here for weeks. The door of your neighbor and needy. You didn't want to bother her just yet. Indeed. So yeah, let's play this game, shall we? This one, this one thing. I don't even know how this one works. It's time to play jacks. Just a quick arrow kiss from left to right before timer runs out. So what if you fail? I actually didn't fail it this this one back then, so I don't know. Jack hurts your hand anyway. Hmm. It's kind of boring inside with no one to play with. Maybe Nene will let me come out of her house till sunset. Maybe, but we have to go back first because I want to succeed the jacks. Okay, please. Pop, 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 pop. There we go. Nice, I thought I wasn't good at jacks. And we can skip this part and go inside. Oopsie, there we go. Hey, I was calling to you. Call it. Damn, fuck that I was supposed to help you. Okay, so I want you all to notice if there's an interesting thing that you all can notice from the design. The color design. No? Yes? If you can notice it, you're doing really great because I actually also noticed it like back then. <laughs> I see the character and immediately goes like, wait a minute, this this design, hmm, I have a proof of recording if you don't believe me. Like, actually no, I don't have a proof of recording. I didn't say anything, but I basically eyebrow the character. Like, you, you can feel and sense it in the recording if you want to. Damn, think that I was supposed to help you. For a kid with such big ears, you really can hear shit, huh? Well, for a crap, you sure leave up the name. Son of a- <laughs> Uh-huh. This is Pincer Chase. He's a red crab that lives a little further down the block. <laughs> He's. When I first moved in, we got along pretty alright. He played with me a lot and we even used to lend each other stuff. But his past few months, I don't know what happened, but he changed. He's always catching an attitude and now he hates me for no reason. What are you doing out here? Playing with chalks? Jacks? Huh, thought you would have outgrown that by now. So I guess I can say much wait when the baby still curse around her dolly. Baby? What are you talking about? You're only two years older than me, barely. And yet you act like you're ten years younger than me, huh? Well, maybe I wouldn't have to be playing with such baby stuff. If somebody returned my copy of Call Me The Heroes. Uh, well, well, where is it, huh? It's my video game, and if you don't give it back, you're stealing from me. Have we explored the uh, video game, actually? Because maybe I didn't. Let me, let me check, actually. Okay, we already did it, so everything's good. And I'm gonna tell my dad on you and he'll make you, make you give it back. Ha! Huh, getting your dad on me. See, you are a baby. You can't even fight your own battles without calling him daddy for help. I'm not a baby! You think you're so much more grown up than me just because you grabbed that gross caterpillar on your face? Hey, you shut the fuck about... Just what is happening out here? Any day. That's my neighbor. Any day. Any day is awesome. Yes, I did an awesome day. We're like best friends. We talk like all the time. She lets me help her with her garden in her backyard. And she brings over dessert on the holidays. Okay, at first I thought that was a candy corn on the side of her pocket, but it was a shell, that which makes more sense. And also you can see there is a snail shell look like cone, I don't know what you call it, on her ha hair, which is cool. Shape. And she smells real pretty all the time. She even babysits me sometime if dad's gonna be gone all night. One time I heard dad tell her that he appreciates her spending time with me. I think it's because all the other girls in my life left. Oof. But if there's only one girl in my life, I won't complain about it being any day because any day rules. Uh, yeah, about... About the on, there will be only one girl in your life. <laughs> it's a... It's a... something. I'm an ocean for the future. Y you'll see what I'm talking about. Are you fighting out here? She started it. 
Uh uh. Yeah uh. -uh. Alright, calm down. What's happening, Ellie? Pincer to make it take Megan forever ago and we give it back. Hmm. Pincer, is it true? I was gonna. Okay, don't take that the tone with me. I'll take whatever tone I fucking want. And I swear, she'll not tell your father about this. Our dad's tomorrow night and I'm not afraid to bring it up to him during it. Hmm, yeah, interesting. Tell him, I don't care. And pulling her closer than me. Oh, I'm sure he'll love to hear this. Disrespe res disrespect. Oh, whatever. Who gives a shit? He's second, he sucks too. Are you transforming or is it like a part of your hand? Sorry for yelling out here any day. It's alright, are you okay? Better know that you're here. That forced me to come outside and play while the sun's still out. Hmm. But I know I ran into stupid old pincer about it. I should just go home now. Other than the annoying thing, it's just boring out here. I see. I see. Lucky for you then. I'm also bored and I've got a matcha cake inside I can possibly eat all by myself. Oh heck yeah, this is why you're the best. Huh? I try. Matcha cake, huh? Mmm, yummy. Yes, yes. Let's go. That's one way to take me away. You just give me. You just tell me that uh, you have matcha cake, and whoop, I'm I'm just immediately jumping into the house, even without worried about anything. So how is it? Everything I build up to be. Oh, this is so good. You like it flowers I never even heard of before. I wonder why. I don't know where you find this. Haha. -ha, happy to expand your horizons. Thanks for helping me out back there too. Thanks for being so annoying, lady. Like more than usual. Anytime, Ellie. And I can't believe you're dating his dad. Ugh. I wonder if he thinks you of you as like his stepmom or something. Stepmom? Goodness, you're thinking much further ahead than I am. I prefer to take things slow. Maybe that's why all the girls down by the shoreline call me such a snail. Any day, you are a snail. I know, I know, but I don't think like to think of myself as a stereotype. Yeah, that's good. Besides, being a snail isn't the only reason I like to take my time with things. You do everything better when you p pace yourself. Really, huh? If anything, more people should learn to take it slow. Everyone's a rush, 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 go nowadays. Rushing just cause mistakes and leave you in a mess. Ellie, are you alright? Any day, you don't think I'm too much of a kid, do you? Huh? Where did this come from? Pinsir kinda makes fun of, of me for it. You know, playing with toys and jacks. Carrying this old stuff toy around. Hey, at least uh, Pinsir didn't make fun of you playing with the jump rope. And I don't know, hearing you say what you just did. It's like part of me wants to be grown up already, but also... Is it okay to you know? It is absolutely okay. Take a little extra time getting there. Yeah, it is absolutely okay taking an extra time getting there, Ali. It is... Your time will come, but even if it does not come, it's still fine. Just be happy. Just be who you are. Oh, well, yeah, of course. Everyone get, goes at their own speed. And even when you do grow up, it doesn't mean you have to stop being a kid at heart either. So true, any day. I mean, just look at me, for example. I like plenty of things one might call childish or even silly. Yeah. Interesting. Really? I wouldn't have guessed that. Like what? Well, for one, I have a cake in my house much more often than a shield, huh? And I keep every gift I get, regardless of how childish one might think they are. Stuffed toys like holy figurines, I even keep the biggest gift there pretty enough. I still remember one of my favorites being a little gift bag with a smiley clown on it. Smiley clown? I, interesting, if that, is that a reference to a character or something? Do you get a lot of gifts any day? Well, I didn't want it to sound like I'm bringing or anything. How come I never see... See my run in. Oh, I have them all stored away for safekeeping. It'd be much too messy if I display them all. And this way I know they're safe. But I hope you might feel comforted in knowing that. Even grow up still like all the same fun stuff kids do. We just uh, tend to hide it more, that's all. You know, that actually does help me feel a little better. Thanks. Yeah, really. Ellie? We have two choices here. Uh, let's see. I wish I was more like you. Thanks for being my friend. I wish I was more like you. Oh. You're all like smart and put together. I hope when I grow up I turn out more like you or something. Yeah. That's the first time I've ever heard that. How sweet of you. 
You've got a really big heart, Ali. I'm almost jealous. Actually, that wasn't even paying attention to time. The sun's already setting. Should I uh, get, a, uh, get out of your hair? Normally, I see, like, I see you can stay as long as you like. But yes, it might be a bit better for me if you leave now. I've got to get up early tomorrow and I've still got to make a proper dinner and take a shower. No, yeah, it's totally fine. I'll catch you some other time any day. Thanks for letting me hang up. As I say, anytime. Very interesting. I wonder if that meant dinner. Ugh, what are you doing out of here? <laughs> oh, oh no. Why are you waiting here like loser until I left any days? Ew, don't flatter yourself as if I'll be waiting out here for you. I'm on my way home, da dumbass, in case you forgot I live on the street too. Don't call me a dumbass. And stop being such a fucking dumbass. You know what? I hope Anita does become your stepmom. Excuse me. I can learn a thing or two from her. Like how to stop bullying the neighbor girls like a big dumb baby. I ain't a fucking baby here. You sure like that way to me, hmm? I was whining and crying and throwing tantrums. Anyone will think you're a bigger baby than I am. Well, at least until they saw that ugly excuse of mustache. Oh, fuck you. What? Hey, fool, let go. You know, I wouldn't have to call you such a baby all, all the time if you just grew up already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What the heck? What is wrong with you? I, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. I gotta go. Goodbye. Shush. Weirdo. What the heck was that all about? And he acts like I'm the one with screw loose. <laughs> Maybe. Whatever. It's only in his house. Uh, she must already be in the shower. I don't really want to wait till tomorrow to get it, but... I'll be fine. It's any day. She'll know to take good care of it for me. I just hope I can step out right without it. Yeah. Hey, kiddo, you have fun out there. Uh, no, Dad. What's with that attitude? Because I was right and stupid Pinsir was there and he threw Tabby's stolen deer in his house. Pinsir really got you twisted lately, huh? Want me to talk with him or his dad or something? We can be a big girl or not a big girl just yet. Be a big girl? No, I'll... I'll take care of it myself. Ha. Flatter girl. Just be nice about it. Be easy on him, okay? Why should I? He's the, he's the one always starting things. I know, I know. But he's going through a lot, don't you think? And easy when your dad starts dating someone new, trust me. Oh yeah, totally, 100%. <clears throat> Sir, are, so are you, are you looking for a dating pool or something? <laughs> and I'm not defending him, he's still in the wrong. But people usually don't act out of for no reason. Most of them don't anyway. Alright, I get it. I'll go easy on him. But if he... I will try to go easy on him. Other girl. Better after him falling asleep that night. I really want the top beast all dolled back. But I was eventually able to relax enough to fall asleep. I reassured myself that in the end would keep him safe and sound. The next morning, the first thing I did was stop by any of house to try and get him back. We can still do jump ropes. That's so cool. Sidewalk chalk. I think we already read that, are we? Yeah, so we are locked in here and we cannot go anywhere, by the way. Any day, hello? It's Ellie! I wanna know if you found my plushie last night. Hello? There's no way she's still asleep at this hour. She must be not, not be home. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I definitely heard that. <laughs> you screamed that loud? Damn. Very interesting. Hello. I wonder if there's secret all around, but probably not. I, I already explored this game for like three times. And maybe I miss stuff, because you sometimes need to play this kind of game a lot. Ooh, we look at that. Let's save. Hello. Hey. 
Hi. What is your earlier? That is boss. You're playing Calamity Heroes? Yeah. You said you wanted the game back. Back. And I'm, I am gonna give it back. I just want to beat it myself first. Hey, Pinsir, why are you so mean to me lately? I don't know. Is it because of any day? Maybe, could be. I'm uh, really sorry about what I did yesterday, if it means anything. Uh, yeah, I wonder why you're so mean lately, hmm? <laughs> I, I, I can't figure out maybe why, but you'll have to see it yourself later on. I don't know what came over me. There's three choices here. It's okay, plus do it again. I'm sorry too. It's okay. Let's don't do it again. It's okay. You got it in a lot worse, if you're honest. Just throwing it in, in this house, it's not, not that bad. How far in the game are you? Can I see? I'm stuck on a cricket boss fight. Wait, Sage, did you get, get up to there for me all the ice? Oh, I didn't even know there was more than one Sage. Let me see where your levels are at. Oh, you're playing as a girl, girl avatar? Uh, 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 yeah. Hmm, yeah. She all look alert than the other product options. Hmm, yeah. Gee. What do you name her? Cloudy. Mm-hmm. I like that name. It sounds... <laughs> Sorry, I cannot... <laughs> I, I cannot hold back my little chuckling here. Uh, no, 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 no nothing is funny. Carry on. It... <laughs> oh, God, I cannot wait. Yeah, you think so? For sure. Alright, sick. If you want help beating the boss, I know where to get some upgrades. Spill and cost grinding for XP isn't exactly helping. Oh yeah, first you wanna back you're gonna wanna backtrack a bit to the cave of shadows. There's a hidden waterfall where you can get a stronger sword. After that, head back into town and talk to the shopkeep. There you can buy nerding out time, let's go. Cool. And it's night time. Phew, dang! I think we only get past cricket. Didn't think we'd get past three more boss after. Look at how fun that gum was. Just it's getting dark, dark now though. Wait, it is light are on. I can go ask for a doll back. Indeed. Wait, and it is lights are on? Isn't she supposed to have that with Mr. Chase tonight? Maybe she's home that early, is she? Yeah, totally no way. It'll be funny if we can still jump rope in the middle of the night. Can we go back home just yet? Yeah. I knock on this door. Why did my suppressor door was unlocked and it opened as soon as I touch it? I don't know what came over me. I probably should have went and told that or something. But I guess I was just so worried about her that I went inside to look. Uh, any day? Oh. She's the last thing you need to worry about. Behind the door- oh, sorry, I can skip that. Behind the door is a hall closet. It's all stacked to the top with all sorts of clean supplies, most still unopen or, or untouched. And I must have restocked recently. This door open fine, but no trace of your doll can be seen inside. And this couch. It has an almost velvet texture to it, but it's still cozy. Books, books are fine, blah blah blah. Get them to open the door, but it's locked. Question mark. In this kitchen cabinet. You know better than to poke your nose through this. In this kitchen table, whenever you have food in this house, you have to sit by her coffee table. You wonder if she even uses this. And this thing, it's like wet, like it was recently used. And it's often. It seems to be preheating. She has to be home, right? Huh. Guess I'm not hanging on in this fridge. To do this. My new garden shovel. Clean basement. Interesting. Call Reginald and see if he like to go out next weekend. Do not take no for an answer. Reginald, huh? Very interesting. Hello, Rick. Very interesting. So, whoa. what's the relationship with Anide and Reginald here? I'm not sure it's business relationship, but I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Also, it's kind of... Oh, arcade, arcade, arcade. Always sprinkling little Reginald here and there, like... Reggie, bits of Reggie here, bits of Reggie that, bits of Reggie there and there. Very cool. That's strange. Mr. Chase's first name is in Reginald. Who's she writing about him? Reginald, more like Reggie Bald. Haha, <laughs> got him. 
<laughs> I fucking hate myself. Okay, so, so there it is. And it's wired up, and it's fashionable outfit, hang inside. How about you offer no sign of any or your missing plush? I mean, the long curtains not to your taste. And it's bad. When you push your hand down on the mattress, you are missing it, so it falls. A bathroom shower combo with a long orange curtain. It smells like shampoo. A small bathroom vanity. A plush shower cannot be found in the cabinets. Yes. Hello. When I sit beside Annie's bed, it's full of monster young jewelry, but it admits the trinkets. Can you see this? Receive door key. Why are you just picking random stuff into someone's house? <laughs> uh, you unlock the door. There's a chest here. It's locked. If, you, if your plush is in here, you need another key to access it. An empty dresser drawer with a lamp on top. The washer drawer appears in the basement. Is your number full back at home? You don't remember. Alright, oof. Nothing else in here. We could just go, right? Where's the day? I wonder where the day is. Oh wow, look at this closet right here. As the basement storage unit, it's heavy and the handle is cold. Opening up, there's... Oh no! Oh no! He has a headache! Yeah. You better run. You wanna go home? 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 No. You grabbed enough to open the door and run home. But you hear someone coming up the walkway. I need to hide. The fact that we can save here is kind of funny. So, uh, basically, you can hide. You have to hide in the hall closet. Like this. But you will fail. Ellie! Uh, all of this will result in you failing, obviously. All, all the other hiding place. I wonder if we can hide the basement. No! You can also hide here. You scurry to hide under a table, but it will fail as well, obviously. Yes. And you can also... I don't know if you... Nope, you cannot hide there. You can hide here. You definitely worry about not to knock over any clothes in the process. Ellie! And we can also do this. Hide under the here laid duck under the bed. But that's of course a bad idea as well. Where should we hide then? You're asking. Well it's if it's not pretty obvious. Which is not obvious at all, actually. Because I still don't understand why this one place is actually the safest place to hide in this game. Get up in the shower and pull the curtain closed. You hear the door open. Someone is in the room with you. It's getting hard to control your breathing. But you have to try. Uh, we can fail this. But wait, no. If we fail this, like, we will die. <laughs> I'm so silly. It's the same thing. Arr. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. This time, let's do it properly. And then, you hear this thing start running, and then it stops. It's quite a game. Do you want to get out of the shower now? Yes. <laughs> Good job, Ellie. <laughs> Why would you even do that? Me pressing the button. Why would you even do that, Ellie? Yeah, so if you don't wait and immediately comes out, you will die. And then, bingo. And we just need to wait. Yes. No. You had for a few months longer. You want to get out of a show now. So there's the option here, but uh, as far as I try, the no does not do anything. Yes, it only repeats, repeats, and repeats. I try 10 times, unless you can try it for like 
30 million times, I wouldn't do that. You need to get out of his house. Indeed. Do you want to leave the room now? There's two options, but it doesn't do anything. It's basically do the same thing. You grab the knob of the door, man. Someone is coming this way again, so we can hide or hide. We can hide in here. You have another wardrobe, hoping to not knock over any clothes in the process. Here's someone entered the room you're in once again. You struggle to stay still and quiet. Don't move. Hold your breath. Don't let her know you're here. Shit. I'm suck at this. I I'm suck balls at this. Okay, there we go. Wow. It's quite a game. Yeah, indeed. It is quite a game. And then we can leave. I'm just checking if there's something else we can actually get there. Which there is, but not after the point of hiding. I think I was home free. I was saying my lucky stars before I was even out the door. I shall not have done that. Allie? Allie? Allie, what are you doing here? Did something happen? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I mean, no, no, no. Uh, I mean, everything's fine. I just uh, came in here because my doll was thrown your house the other day. And when I knocked, your door was open. Oh, how silly me. I must have let you know when, when I came back home today. Where were you? As for your little dolly though, no worries to put it away for safe keeping. I'll go get it for you. Where did you put it away? And I left room to get my push back for me. Looking back into the moment, I probably should have just left. Actually, maybe not. They might have made it worse, I don't know. She came back and gave me the toy, and after that, I should have said thank you and left. I guess I was just so nervous I couldn't help but to keep talking. I still wish I hadn't. There you go, seven sound. Uh, thanks, Anita. I guess it's good you didn't go on that date after all, hey? Oh, that. I've been waiting for him all night, but he hasn't shown up. Not even a call. Uh, oh, sorry to hear that. Oh, it's alright. Then it isn't at all a waste. I know you just had some... Some the other day, but I had but a new cake for Mr. Chase and I to share. Since he's not here, you can get his slice if you like. R really uh, Awesome. Th thanks. Here, you get a cake from the fridge, and I'll get, get a fine china. E yeah, sure. Thing. Gee. I walk up to the refrigerator and open the door. Hello, Mr. Chase. Wow, you're looking really handsome. Yourself. Is that the watermelon? Oh. Oh, goodness. I really love the look here, by the way. I really did swear I had a movie already. I suppose that's what I get for rushing. I turn my head up to her and say, You... You, you kill people. <sighs> oh, honey. I didn't just kill people. I eat them. I really thought at the moment, like, I, I just don't kill people. Uh, she was, like, going to say, like, I don't kill people uh, because she... I was, like, having two options. A, because she doesn't consider the others people, which was horrifying. <laughs> or B, the second one. Uh, what was the second one? I don't kill people. I... I don't know, if I have to, like, funny theory, and this is the third one, because I do cannibalism, and I was like, oh, okay, that was unexpected. <laughs> she said it in such a silly way. The kind of tone a kindergartner teaches uses when telling her student a scary story. Playing her sharp nail out in front of me before cracking it into another laugh. As if she were pretending to be a spooky witch in a children's play. I mean, can you blame me? Mr. Chase was just such a handsome man and so polite with me too. Who didn't want to eat him right up? Though he was a bit of the jealous type. 
If he found out he's not the only one they hit to wind up like this, I think he had been a little upset. I think he would have been really upset either way if he finds out. I wish he could feel like that sometimes. Jealous. So true. I wonder what's your murder weapon. There, are, There's a hole in the neck, so I wonder. You mean I have a connection I really care about? Like you and I. We're close, aren't we? When you told me before. I wish I was more like you. So yeah, the dialogue pattern where we pick if we can. Uh, you, I think of you as a friend and this one, it's will result in this flavor text right here. That felt really nice. It must feel a lot lighter to laugh with your heart instead of your stomach. But does it ever stay as full? Why? Why are you telling me all this? I mean, it's, that's just because... You're not going to tell anyone. You can promise that, can you? This scene is a... I think it's a parallel to the Cemetery Mary scene. There's a scene in Cemetery Mary uh, that... That appears in Cemetery Mary. I, I'm trying to formulate words so I don't spoil stuff, but yeah. It appears in Cemetery Mary if you play the game. Kinda looks like this. Maybe not. Maybe I'm reaching out, but it's fun to see. Y yeah, of course. What else was I supposed to do? I would have said anything to leave. Um, what happens if I break the promise? Good question. Look at that. I really love, like, uh, any day personality in the end. It really feels like a predator, like a beast. Like a beast toying with his prey hunting. You can see it in the eyes, the expression, the way they're playing around and telling a horror story like that. And the way that she guides any Ellie to like the fridge and being like, Oh, I'm, I shouldn't have rush. That's just a uh, true horror. I ask her and she just stared at me. <laughs> and then she started laughing. Like I would just say it was really funny. Indeed. Indeed it is. <laughs> it is really funny, Ellie. The last word I remember hearing from her were good night, Ellie. She nearly shoot me out of her do front door. Good night, Ellie. And welcome. Hey, Ellie Cat, there you are. It is getting late. I was certainly getting worried about you. Yeah. Sorry, Dad. That's just a, a any days. Yeah, figure. Hoping it didn't fill you up on sweet too much while you were we were there. Dinner's ready. Come sit. I dare say I did myself tonight. <laughs> Fucking hell, that. I didn't get any sleep that night. The little ears. All I could do was sit up in bed and stare across the street and in this house. As if waiting for something to happen. I could see her walk out the door and start making her way towards my house. That didn't happen though. Eventually the lights in her house went off. But I still didn't go to bed. I just sat up there and kept watch. And I stayed that way until the morning. If you're hoping for some gruesome end to the story, like her coming after me or my father or something, you'll be sorely disappointed. I kept my promise and she left me alone. And nothing ever happened to her either. When Mr. Shish was the card machine, she allegedly told the officer that he never showed up for their date. And I guess she cleaned up really well because I didn't see them bother her again after that. I wonder where she left the, her house back then. Why did she do that? And also, I think she's not alone at cleaning all this stuff. The she's kids ending, ending up being taken in by their aunt down the block. Oh. Well, they become orphans. And eventually, Mr. She's case went cold. Ellie is not mad at me for that. I like the thing he understand. Yeah, he pretty much do. Maybe, if he's not dead. I didn't really say any idea after that either. I didn't want to. When it came to things like babysitting, I told that I was too old for that now and I could stay home alone. When he would ask me if I had visited her lately, 
I would some inside and say I did so I wouldn't think anything was weird. I wonder if she ever told him either otherwise. I guess I'll never know. Three years later. This is an interesting development of three years later, actually. Kinda short, but I like it. That brings us today to today. And he doesn't live here anymore. She hasn't for a while. And I'm not really sure where she went. I remember some moving trucks in front of her house one day. And she left with them and that was that. She didn't live here anymore. And no one else ever moved in either. Now it's just the old abandoned house on the block. I wouldn't be surprised if neighborhood kids start saying it's haunted. It might as well be. I still haven't told anyone. The missing password is gone. I promise I will then. And there's some part of me that feels like, no matter where she is or what she's doing right now, she'll know if I break it. Ellie, hello. <laughs> uh, oh yes. Uh huh. Wow. Notice that name. Remember that name? If you do, cookies for you. Cloudy. Hey, you were staring pretty intensely at any of the salt place. You're still mad about the time I threw your doll in there, right? Oh, oh yeah. <sighs> Glad to see you grow up, Chloe. Come on, babe. I will just for like it a bazillion times now. Uh, no, no, no. We're cool with that now. Swear. Okay, good. I was just coming to get you because me and other girls were heading to the arcade. Kitten. And we wanted to invite you. But I see you've got all your gears on, so if you're too busy at practice or something, mm. Uh. Yeah, I can come. I could use a good trip to the arcade. Sick. Sick. Let's go. I don't know what happened to Anita, I probably never will. And I think I'm okay with that. I think it's better if I never know. It's certainly been easier to breathe ever since she left. And it's despite all the mental scars she left me with, I've been... <clears throat> Sorry, my throat, suddenly. I've been doing okay. I've got a pretty alright life. And I'm trying not to feel guilty about enjoying it. When I think about Anita, I always remember the things she's saying. Something about loving with your stomach instead of your, instead of your heart. I hope that for the sake of others, at least, she'll learn some way to keep them both full. Normal again. Gee, Ellie, I wonder if you still hope the same way for her on the true ending. Okay, so far now, maybe some part of the story still doesn't connect to you at all. Maybe that's probably because it's the normal ending. We'll know so she, so shall see the true ending, shall we? So the way to get true ending is instead of hiding in the closet, we hide under the bed. You heard the dog under the bed. The true ending. Yeah, holding my breath. There we go. What's the center here? Receive strange key. There's no inventory, I just checked it. So now let's fast forward to the future, shall we? Okay, so we arrive back to this part. Yes, this interesting part. Uh huh. Uh. Me oh, sorry, my throat doesn't feel well. Maybe in a bit. There's just some stuff I gotta do around here first. Chores and all, you know? Alrighty then, we're gonna be hanging out the holidays, so just text if you wanna join in later too. Sounds good. Thanks, Crab Cakes. I'll meet up with you guys later. Bye bye. Bye. So, yeah, something is different here, right? Indeed. The door wasn't even locked. The last time I stepped in foot in this house was that night. Sometime after so many years, I find myself wondering if it even really happened. Maybe I just had some crazy bad dreams. Or maybe that's just what I like to tell myself. But I didn't think that after so long and so much dust, this place would still smell like her. Most of the furniture had been removed during this move, but Mr. Lucy is in the remains. There's nothing left inside though, nothing but dust anyways. The whole closet has been emptied of all its contents. You've never seen one so empty. Like when it's completely empty, 
The oven is so dusty. You like that it's no longer in use. The water doesn't run anymore. For some reason, that makes you feel relieved. Shakingly, Nidia's outfit still has some knots of her slave on it. You are a bit disturbed to see that your birthday is listed here. Underneath your birthday is the word Kate. You assume that maybe she was planning to deliver you one, maybe, in, maybe even invite you over on your birthday. But in your past birthday since then, you were never invited over or receive a cake from her. You wonder what year this was for. The bookcase and all its books have been left here. Yeah, I guess the only day books were only decoration. I don't know, maybe maybe it's something they read, they just didn't want to bring it around. It may serve this reserve second in all of jewelry. All of it is gone now. You remember this window having long curtains? And they must have liked them too much to part with them. Your know, fiction is obscured by dust and grim in the mirror, and the angle of the mirror, why are you staring at the mirror from the side? Maybe it's better that way. It's probably best to leave the shower be. Mustard in the air has probably curtain mold behind the curtain. Mmm, mold, yummy, delicious. You know, like, if Delta Rune's character are in here, they would probably have eaten the mold. There's only one place to go. And we have a key, so you know what it's going to be. Nothing is worth opening this unit again. You don't even want to risk it. You tell yourself there's nothing inside and you hope that it is true. An empty dresser drawer with a lemon top. Some things never change. In surprise, the washer dryer comes still here. Maybe they were too outdated by the time she left. Let's open it, shall we? That last night, a uh, Sierra found a key hidden under in this bed. I was never sure what it was for, but I was keeping it on me. I'm sure it must be for this. You put the key into the lock. The chest opens. You kneel down and begin to shuffle through the contents. Another at the very top of everything inside reads, Gift from my past lovers. It puts a bit of knot in your stomach as you begin to dig through them. Sorry, a chill just ran down my spine. The first thing you pull out is a teddy bear. Its fur is red and it's holding a velvet red heart. The pink ribbon on its neck is dotted with heart as well. I wonder if that symbolizes someone. Someone, I don't know. The next gift you pull out isn't gift at all. It's a gift bag, one with a smiley clown on it, and it is favorite. There's nothing inside it anymore. Well, there's an envelope, but that's empty too. I wonder what that signifies. You assume this all gave us for a birthday, but you have no way of knowing. This gift also really isn't a gift. It's a letter. Sorry, I'm, like I said, I'm having a chill running down my spine. <laughs> Here, any day. I hope you don't find it too cheesy that I'm writing this in a letter. I'm a bit old school sometimes. And I'm also damning this in your mailbox because I think it's a bit hard to say to your face. I know we have already been dating for a little bit, but I just wanted to let you know that I like you. I really like you. I was stuck that I was such a track was just a myth, but after meeting you, I'm starting to believe it. I don't think I've ever fallen for anyone this badly. Every time I see you, it's like there's a butterfly in my stomach. But despite the butterflies, also feel so comfortable around you like I could tell you anything and you listen. And you do listen. And even with all my fucked up baggage, you still ask to take me out again and again. I wonder why. I'm so happy with you and I just really wanted you to know that you're everything. I don't know where I'm going with this. Just consider it a love letter. I... I love you any day. And I hope you like the pictures too. They come out really nice. I think we look cute together. Excited to join you for dinner later. Your girlfriend. Ugh, yeah. No? No way. You could have fucking kidding me. Probably not. Heavy. Yeah. True end. Our first date. You have a fork thing. That's kind of silly. Great, this game was created by SF Arcade using RPG Maker MV. Additional music, Kevin McLeod, Buzz Island Game Loop, Summer Sunny, Kevin McLeod, Hell yeah, Kevin McLeod is always based. HBX Gallery, special thanks to BB Demon, Smash Strawberry for Endless Love.
Yes, our jump rope and jack start by complete by Luan is sleep. Oh yeah, the laugh, the, the laughter at the end with any day is hosted by some Astro Bunny. Plugins by which you can check the game above. I cover some of their game as well. Let's see. Uh huh. Special thanks to my patrons. Woohoo! I think the number of patrons increased, which is cool. Thank you for playing. Indeed. Wait, where, where, where's Buddy? Where there's only Paul? This is this is outrageous. Arcade, I cannot believe you. Zero pretend of a game. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yes, that's stop, stop right there. I think there's a few stuff that we can explore, right? Or maybe it's just me being a little bit too silly. Nope, that's not something we can explore. But yeah, like I said, it's just flavor text, which, okay, I skipped those, so that's good. It's a, just a little tiny bit of flavor text, it's not really that important, especially if we because we cannot roll back and it will take a while to do those. Anyway, yes, uh, where was I? Let's review and discuss the game a little bit, shall we? So I really love the true ending, especially because it's a very bold, a bold decision to like do ending where everything, I guess, went horribly like that and no ending conclusion, it's just great. It feels refreshing and new and a, a bold taste, I guess. It, it, it The story also kind of reminds me of the, w the way it abruptly ends like that. It feels like a Junji Ito story, in a way, this whole story thing is. Especially with the snail. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of Spiral in that way, because snail. But otherwise, yeah, it, it, you know what? It kind of reminds me of Tomie, in a way. The, in a way, because of like how the story progression goes. Uh, what else? What else could I say? Uh, the character is amazing, especially. I really love Andy Day. Especially, like I have to say, talk before in while well, we are playing the game about how she's playing the... what do you call it? The playful hunter type really well by uh, making Ellie go take out the food in the fridge and turns out, oh, whoopsie, I should have done that. I should have be, be more careful and now you see the head because I'm pretty sure she already knows or something like that. And the way she laughs and smiles and look, that's just amazing. Uh, the other characters, Ali, pretty nice, so, solid, usual main character. The dad, something that a lot of people would seem to love <laughs> in, in a way. <laughs> uh, what have you unleashed with the dad? What else? Cloudy, it's a very excellent, it's a nice friend's representation, I think. Especially with the the first time I saw Cloudy, I, I immediately was like, hmm, yeah, this this color palette, this the way Cloudy look, yeah, hmm, I'm suspecting something. And then the second time with the game, I my suspicion basically almost confirmed, and with the ending, yeah, it's 100% confirmed. <laughs> it's just nice to see because it's kind of relatable, I guess, to some people, especially. I don't know. The angst that they are feeling because of the mustache growing, probably, I guess, that's why they are becomes meaner, but I'm psychoanalyzing stuff right now, if that's even the word. Which, yeah. Uh, what else? What else? What else? The music is always banger with the Kevin McAleer thing, obviously, and I'm just gonna mention things that I come out of my head immediately. The art, okay, the art looks different than usual, and I love it. It it, it just gives off a fresh, sharp look with the line art and everything. The color palette is just great. The character art, the game art, the Luanit sleep art as well is also excellent. Uh, it looks clean, like everything looks clean here. I've, but I feel like there's some design clutter that doesn't make sense to me, but I guess maybe I'm, I'm, I'm not a designer, so yeah. Uh, for example, like the sofa back then, or like maybe a li the little couch in the room back then in the house and the, how the kitchen looks, but that's that's just me, I guess. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, the control, the X, when you press X to skip dialogue or Z to press dialogue, any button you use to fast forward dialogue, it somehow also select selection which is kind of suck but other than that that's fine mm, what else I don't know oh yeah maybe l like the plot implications there's original interesting I want to know more obviously 
about Reginald. You know, fu funny story. Reginald, I use. I, I I'm not hating Reginald. Okay, I I don't hate Reginald. If if I say I hate Reginald, it's more of like a play thing, playful thing. Like I'm just, oh, I hate you, you you son of a fuck or something. But no, I, I don't really hate him most of the time. But that doesn't mean I like him as a character. Okay, you 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 you, you doesn't need to hate someone to not like them. It's kind of a weird wording, but you get what I'm saying, right? But over the years, I say he grew in my heart. He grew in my heart like some sort of bleach liquid, <laughs> in a nice way. Uh, like what I'm what I'm trying to say. It's just nice. Like back then, I am. If I see Reginald, I'm just like, uh, hmm, 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 Reggie, Reggie, Reggie. And now I'm just like, hmm, yeah, that's kind of sweet, I guess. And while still saying fuck you in a nice way. <laughs> uh, what else? Yeah, I love all the lore implication, obviously. Like, there's hidden secrets there and there. I wonder what does the cake mean? Are the cake made out of human? Or are the cake made out of secret ingredients? Who knows? How did any day kills the person? Who knows? How did uh, any day cleans up the stuff? Who knows? And how did Tabby ends up with? Who knows? There's a lot of hidden details that probably will be revealed or will never be revealed at all. Which is interesting. I uh, also love the plotline, like the parallel stuff. Not parallel, I guess. Contradictory stuff or the bring it uh, or the stuff that we see at first of the game and then let her wrap up on the end of the game. Like, how Tabby is gone, and then we finally discover where Tabby went, which in a fucked up way. <laughs> and, uh, and like, when Eddie Day says that, oh, you should take things slowly. If you rush things, it will be bad. And then at the end with the fridge, she said, oh shit, I shouldn't have rushed in. That's, that's just small details, small callback stuff that I really love. But other than that, I pretty much doesn't have anything else to say about the game. It's excellent, that's all I can say. So I guess that's all for my Nightboard any day. I hope you enjoy it. See you later then in my next video. Bye bye.